Main reason I went live is because I have something to open. So this box is from uh, Create Along TV, Polymer Clay TV. Um, Kira and Elisa make wonderful resources for um, polymer clay artists and every once in a while uh, they put out these boxes. Um, I believe they're changing after the summer and the ones in the fall are going to be a little different setup. I'm waiting to hear what that's going to be about as well. But this box here is the July box and I just got it in the mail today. So I wanted to open it and uh, show you guys what's in it. Um, this is the second time I've gotten a box from them. Obviously, I mean, it's not free. I buy it. <laughs> um, but the other box I got was, I don't remember what month it was. It was April, May, one of those. I know I didn't get the June box, um, but here is the July box. So let's open it up. If I don't knock over my tripod in the process. Alright, so the theme, the theme is Surf's Up. Who doesn't love the creatures and critters who live in the sea? This month we celebrate the fun textures and shapes provided by sh fish, sorry, shells, fish, nets, and other fun seaside inspirations. Grab your flip-flops, it's time for some beachy fun. I'm not going to read what it includes because I kind of want to see it. Um, we can't wait to see... What you create with your tools and supplies. Be sure to post photos of what you make on social media sites. Use create along, hashtag create along box so we can find your post and we will pick someone to get a free box next time. Ooh, cool. So, let's see what's in this baby. All right, so we have a mold. And this mold is um, a silicone mold. And everything's packaged real nice. So it's a fishy. Um, looks like one of those like tropical fish. Um, it says a large mold fish or flip flops. Not gonna lie, I kinda wish I got the flip-flops, but the fish is kinda cool too. Um, so that's the first thing. Let's see what's next. Small beach elements mold. I'm assuming that's this. And it's got a little dolphin. Fanfish, I guess that's a sunfish or starfish rather, a crabby crab, and a seahorse. Um, yeah, so that's the next, the second mold. Surfs up netting and critters silk screen. I think that's down at the bottom. So it's got, um, looks like the background is kind of a, a net, yeah, a dolphin, a jellyfish, um, an anchor, a crab, a fish, starfish. So it's like, um, like a whole bunch of different sea creatures. <laughs> so I like the, um, and on the back it has all the directions. So I like all of the uh, silk screens that they do. Um, I have another one by them. It was from the other box that I got. Um, I don't know where it is right now. It's somewhere. It was uh, flowers. Okay. Magic transfer paper featuring bubbles, netting, and creatures. So that's what's up next. So I've never done any of the magic transfer paper that they offer. 
So this will be new for me. Surf's Up Magic tra Transfer Paper from createalong.com. And on the back we have um, instructions for image transfer on raw polymer clay, fabric, paper, wood, ceramic, and more. For a substrate other than polymer. So I don't know if there are directions actually. Let's open this up and see. I hope there are directions. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. So it has the directions here, but I'm a little confused. Is this transfer paper ready to go? Or do I have to print onto it? I'm assuming it's ready to go. Print design with laser printer only. The paper disintegrates in liquid. Okay, so I think this is a pre-printed one because obviously it's already got the picture on it. Um, and here are all the directions. So that should be fun to play with. Next we have seashells stencil, that's this. Um, Creolong.com seashells. So I got some conch shell, conch shells, and some starfish. It's kind of neat. Not sure what I'll use this for just yet, but it's cool. Next, sunshine on the ocean pigment powder. That's this. So this is like a, um, like a pearl powder, a mica powder. So in the last box I got, there was like a copper colored one. So this one's like a nice ocean blue. And that's actually pretty cool because I don't have any blue shades for any of the pearl powders that I do have right now. So yeah, this is a neat addition to my collection. And I love these little jars. Um, <laughs> I here you can see I have other ones filled with other things, glitter and gems and stuff. So this will fit right with my little pile of little jars. Okay, next is a bottle of Hot Fix Crystals. Ooh, it's so tiny. Oh my gosh, so tiny. Look at how stinking tiny that is. It's like the size, the, the, <laughs> it's like the size of a quarter. And it's got all sorts of little crystals in it. So, ah! And they're all different colors here. So I see green and blue and like a tan color. So with, um, with the hot fix crystals, since polymer clay uh, is heat cured in the oven, I'm I've never done it this way before, but I've read that you can just kind of stick the heat hot fix crystals on there while the clay is raw and um, bake it and then boom they're stuck. They're adhered to the clay. So that's kind of neat. Next up, slide top tin to cover with clay. That's this, this little this little thingy. So that's kind of cool. Um, I've covered Altoid tins a lot recently. I've done like four or five of them but this will be the first slidey one that I do. So that's kind of cool. It's very thin, it's very delicate. Not delicate in that it's fragile, but it's like, I don't know, small, petite. All right, and the last thing, fish bezel pin. Oh, it's a pin. That's kind of cool. So it's like a brassy color. It's got a pin on the back. Don't know what I'll do with this. This is a uh, this is a wild card. <laughs> no, 
not sure what I'm going to make with this. Um, but maybe I'll do a, another Instagram live where I make something with this. So here we are. We have our fishy. Actually, I'll put the flat things back first. So we have those. And these. And this. That. And that. And the fish. So there we have our create along box. Um, pretty satisfied with what's in it. I have I've already ordered the August box, but that won't ship until the end of August. So I have like a whole month before I get another one. Um, like I said earlier, I believe they are changing up how they do their subscriptions for these boxes come the fall. So we shall see how that changes. Um, so yeah, be prepared to see some projects with these items soon from me. So we're just gonna put it back in the box. I think I'm gonna put my little guy in there. Oh, look, it fits. I wonder if my fishy fits in there too. Oh, the fishy does fit. Look at that. All right, so there we have it. Our create along box has been opened. Um, the only thing, like I said, I kind of wish I would have gotten the flip-flops. Um, there might have been a little too much fish in here for me with the pin and the fish um, mold, but I guess that'll just challenge me to make something different than I normally would make. So we'll see. Um, yeah.